Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm here at my friend's 95 Camaro and the trunk is slightly out of alignment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line that back up and then talk about the dangers of that and how you can realign it to where the body panels all match again. So if you notice in the front of the trunk, it's a little bit out of alignment. And what that does whenever you try to open the trunk, stuck at this spot if you try to force it open then it's just it's not going to do anything so you have to pull on the trunk lid so that that hinge opens up where it's supposed to and then it opens up fine um, now you don't need new hinges you don't need anything like that what you all you have to do is these hinges are made to be adjustable so uh, this side is fine so you, if you're having problems with both sides then you would have to play around with this more but um, you can basically look at the gaps of this side if you're only having problems with, say, your, the right side of your car compared to the left side. Um, but a lot of cars are like this. It's not specific to Chevy Camaros. This is the Camaro convertible, so this is kind of a problem more specific to it. The, uh, the hatchback um, don't really have this issue, but we're going to be using this side as kind of the baseline. So we can look at the gaps and we can tell that uh, the side, the driver's side is has a, a smaller gap between this little fender washer and the edge of this bracket. So we're gonna try to get this the driver's side to look like this side and hopefully this hinge will work like it's supposed to. But it's not a problem with these struts and it's not a problem with the hinge itself. These are made to be adjustable. So behind this, the reason there's such a large, large washer is because the hole um, that's in this hinge is made to be, it's made large so that you can adjust this and shift it like you, like you need to if you have to realign it, do body work, after cars are in accidents, the body panels are usually out of alignment a little bit. So, um, some kind of a shifting would have to be done with the hinges so that you can get it lined up back the way it's supposed to. But the dangers with this is as you can, I'm going to close it again. When you look inside this gap, I don't know if we can video inside of there, but when you look inside the gap, there's a, uh, there's a stop that basically keeps this trunk lid from pushing in and basically decapitating people that are inside. Not to be uh, gory or anything, but. This, uh, this shoulder bolt is raised out like it's supposed, like it is, because it's supposed to be like that, so that it catches on this, on that little half circle, and it stops the, the trunk lid from moving in and, and harm people that are in the interior. So that's the danger side of this. So what we have is we just have a 15 millimeter. Uh, this is a, just a quarter inch drive. It doesn't really matter. You can use a, anything as long as it's 15 millimeter. If you have a different car, it might not be 15 millimeter. But I'm just gonna shift this. Okay, so compared to the other side, I probably had about a sixteenth of an inch gap. So I'm going to push this down. Looks like it's about where it's supposed to be. And this one looks like it's lined up on the other side, uh, about the same gap as we, would, as we would need. So I'm just pushing this down. Tighten this back now. This should fix the issue, and it'll close like it's supposed to. The main thing is I want to get this to line back up so that it'll actually catch on this. Would anybody rear in the car? So it would actually catch on that like it's supposed to. Close the trunk lid, and as we close it, I didn't push it down in any special way. This is the body lines are back like they're supposed to be. Um, Sometimes it takes a little bit more of an alignment. You might have to unbolt uh, the other side and play with it a little bit, open and close it. Um, if both of them are out of alignment, then it's a little bit harder because you don't have a baseline to compare to like we had uh, when we were lining this one back up. But anyway, that's, that's it with this. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, hopefully, whatever your car is, if it's a Chevy Camaro, if it's uh, whatever it is, 
you'll be able to line up the body panels like you're supposed to, get it looking uh, nice and streamlined like it was when, it, when they designed it out of the factory. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and God bless you guys.